Good evening guys, hope everyone's having a great day. I just wanted to do a wrap up on something. Um, first of all, um, my review on the CRK Isatsu, I plan to do a, um, a wrap up on it. Uh, I ended up really fucking up the paint job. Um, because I, I, I said I was going to just leave it alone because I liked the little lines I made, but I, you know, I ended up not liking it. So I tried to touch it up. That didn't work. Tried to strip it. That didn't work. So basically what I ended up with was uh, a really fucked up paint job on the blade. Um, still serviceable. It still works. Uh, I got a little oil on it. Um, but somehow or another, when I disabled the um, the auto assist, I ended up messing up the, the lock, and I, I just I'm to the point where I really just don't feel like fooling with this knife anymore. Um, I did order the Hey Ho, so it um, the Hey Ho comes with a silver, you know, no a satin finish, no black and crap on the blade, and it's not the knife's fault; it's my fault for fucking it up. So this is basically going to be just a a whatever knife. I'll probably carry it in my bag to work, use it for um, cutting up and shit that I really don't care about. Um, so it's pretty much the, the finish of the blades ruined. Um, but it's a learning experience. You know, next time I get a black blade, I'll just tape the tape off the blade so I don't mess it up. I was in a hurry, um, and I just I made a mess. <laughs> so. Uh, there's that. That's the wrap up. Uh, as far as my thoughts on the knife before I fucked it up, it's a great knife. It's a great piece. Um, <laughs> everything still works on it fine. I could probably disassemble it again and jimmy this around and figure out, you know, what I did to make the. Because it still kind of works, but it's not where it would, you know, it's, it's supposed to stay up until you, you know, you you physically hold it down like that. But uh, anyway, like I said, this is going to be just a, you know, a uh, workhorse now. And uh, so I decided to try to fix my tie light, which I was using as my everyday carry before I um, uh, deployed it and bumped that metal thing behind me. And I was kind of hard on it in my thoughts in my review on the, uh, the Hisatsu. Because I, I did bump metal with it, so I do apologize for my uh, my wording and my actions. I was really in a bad mood that night. But it's no excuse. You guys are watching my stuff to get my thoughts on it. So let me just um, tell you how I fixed it. Uh, as you see, the edge rolling is gone. So talking to my friend John. And John is a, a veteran. He's, like, you know, he's military. He's ex-military or whatever. Um, he was a, a medic in the special forces. He works with me at Walmart now and, you know, he, he grew up in Japan. So he's got a lot of knowledge on edge weapons and just in combat in general. So I, you know, we got on the subject of sharpening stuff and it really wasn't even a conversation about how to fix a rolled edge. Um, it was just, he let, he let me hold his knife and I, I felt the edge, you know, to see how sharp it was. And I was actually surprised how what kind of edge he had on it so I asked him what he uses and he mentioned uh, you know wet stones these strops and then he mentioned glass and I'm like glass he's like yeah you'd be surprised how, you know what kind of effect glass will have on a blade and I thought he was full of shit I'm like no glass what is glass gonna do so I came home and I researched it turns out if you take a knife and you run it along tempered glass. Let's use uh, your car window as an example. The very top where you know it's kind of got a different color to it, different texture, is tempered, and it has like a rough feel. That will actually hone down or work down a blade. I had no idea that it would actually do it. So I'm like, well, you know, it's late at night. I just got home from work. I just finally screwed that knife up as far as the finish like I said it's still razor sharp it still functions and I could fix the line lock the uh, the little thing right here I could even go so far as to get some special paint to fix that and I might do that later but 
like I said, I'm just gonna use this to just cut shit. You know, not really give a crap about it. It's my fault. In the story, on to the back, back to the tie light. So I got to thinking, you know, I was like, well, I don't want to go downstairs in the middle of the night and have a blade in my hand, and I, I really don't want to mess with my car. You know, my luck, I'll end up dropping the knife and slashing my tires or some shit. So I'm looking at my table. Tempered glass. Imagine that. So I got the I got the edge right here on the glass and I angled it to where it was right on the spot where it rolled. So, you know, I, I don't even own a whetstone. I could have probably done this on the whetstone. But I just happened to have a cheap little wall. This is my, my dining room table. You know, this is where I sit to do all my reviews. It's where I sit my sander. I get a big towel and I sit it right here so it doesn't vibrate too much. And I just, I use it as just everything. Except to eat on. Go figure, right? Anyway, back to what I did. Um, I lined up the edge and I just I scrubbed up and down where you know where the uh, the rolling was and sure enough it smoothed it out without having to grind off any metal it was an edge roll so and it was very small it wasn't even that bad it's just it was enough to piss me off and enough to when you thumb the blade you can feel it but with that little method I did, you know, it's probably 20 seconds here, 20 seconds there. Then, of course, I, I lost sharpness because I, you know, I did do something to the blade to get that, that edge to roll back up and, you know, whatever. You know, it wasn't even bad. It was just, it moved over just a little bit. You know, a little bit of honing, you know, what on the, on the glass here. And it was back. But I lost a little bit of edge. So I had to break out the old sharpener, the old sander up there, get some honing compound, recoat the stropping belt, restrop the whole blade, and this is the beast back 100%. So you notice there's no more, no more edge rolling. And that's when I, did, I first did the video and I, I brought this out. There was a little bit of a speck that when the light caught it, it showed up. So we're going to put it right here. And let's see. This probably isn't going to work too well. Let me just turn the camera around. I don't want to screw anything up. Yeah, I didn't even bother to change clothes. I got homing compound all over me again. It'd be all right. Now before I fixed the blade, it was grabbing the paper when it got to that point. Never fails, Laura. You always go crazy when I have a video going. I'm so tired I missed the paper. So back in it's back 100%. So I will now be using this as my everyday carry again for um, for self-defense mainly probably carry like I said I'll probably just have this in my left pocket just for utility purposes um, you know it's still a great knife there's nothing wrong with it that I can't just put a little bit more uh, work into the line lock's still secure it's still sharp as God all, you know, it's, it's all hell so you know, nothing about the actual function of the knife except, you know, somehow loosen this up to where it, it doesn't stay up. It's been changed. It's just, uh, I somehow, you know, I, like I said, when I sharpened it, I didn't take the blade off and, uh, this part came, uh, came shiny and then, of course, you had the edge it was already shiny and the same thing on the back. Tried to paint it, didn't work. Tried to strip it, made it look worse. So, live and learn. I don't like black blades because of that, you know, that very reason. But I'm not one to blame but myself. Uh, okay, guys, I want to keep this as short as possible, but I did want to update you on those two things. Um, so, 
And like I said before, it really wasn't the knife's fault. I did draw it back. I did bump into metal. And maybe I did hit it a little bit harder than I thought. The fact that I did hit metal with this knife, and I was able to fix it just by gliding it up and down on a tempered glass table and then restropping, I spent maybe seven minutes, even you know, counting the prep time to get the sander plugged back in, turned back on, and recoat the, the strop and honing compound. Not a bad fix, considering I did hit a metal. What it was, I was in the bathroom at my work, and I'm, I, I have no shame in telling you guys the story. I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I put my hand on my pocket, drew it back, and I bumped the automatic hand washer, you know, the, the hand blower thing. It went ding! Looked at the knife, sure enough, I had rolled the edge. But the fact that I was able to fix it by just as a simple method just proves this knife is a damn good piece and I was wrong in what I said in uh in this review on the Hisatsu. I will review the Hey Ho when it comes in. Um and once again it does not have a black finish on the blade so I I'm good to go on sharpening it. The general consensus on that knife is it comes razor sharp, even the serrations are razor sharp. I watched uh, the review by We All Juggle Knives. He was very, very um, positive in his review. He mentioned it came razor sharp out of the box. Uh, so I shouldn't have any problems with that. I will strop it as I do strop every blade I get. I always at least do a strop. So it's stupid sharp for me. Uh, don't know what else to say. I will be back when I have that knife. I also have one more knife coming in this week, as I, I always do, apparently. I have, you've probably seen it on Zombie Go Boom, I have the Shrade uh, Karambit, the big one called the Shasta McNasty. Now, the reason I ordered that is because it would be a double-edged Karambit. You know, the back of the blade would be uh, sharpened. It's a fixed blade, so it's good to go, you know, as far as deployment, it wouldn't be sitting in my pocket with the you know a sharpened edge right here with the lock in the lock position so uh that's gonna probably be my last karambit i was going to get a fox i just i don't i'm kind of out of the whole karambit thing i got like six or seven of them right now so um you know pretty much done with that right now so you guys can uh check out the the tie lights they're on amazon the cold steel site eBay, wherever you want to grab it. It is a decent knife, so don't pay my idiot ass any attention. I did have a rough night at work that night, um, so I was just in a bad mood. But I wasn't being fair to the products in question, so, you know, should have came sharper, but if you have experience sharpening knives, no problem. Should have been more careful. I was able to fix it. Good to go. Good quality steel, and uh, I hope the glass trick helps anybody that wants to um, try something different with their knife. I will say just be careful as it is glass and you are working with a sharp blade. Both are dangerous, you know, make sure the glass is properly uh, uh, tempered and everything and, you know, don't go try this on a eighty thousand dollars mercedes or something so blame me with it <laughs> all right guys i ran my mouth enough you guys have a great one peace say my name and we'll see you next time